Hi, I'm composer, conductor, and educator, Bradley S. Hartman. Have you ever wondered about the compositional process behind a piece? Or perhaps the hidden meanings composers use when writing a new work? Maybe there's more to the backstory of a composition than the composer writes about in their program notes. Today, I'm here to dive deeper into one of my compositions, A Smithtown Celebration. Join me as we explore this piece in depth as we go beyond the score. The Smithtown Celebration was commissioned by the Smithtown Community Band in 2014 in celebration of the town's 350th anniversary the following year. Smithtown, New York was founded by the English immigrant Richard Bull Smith in 1665. Smith owned land that bordered the town of Huntington, New York, and there were many disputes as to where the borders actually were. There's an old legend that Richard would ride his bull around the perimeters of his township to enforce where he felt the appropriate borders existed. To commemorate Smith, a statue of his bull was commissioned in 1903 by Lawrence Smith Butler, a descendant of Richard. And on May 10, 1941, the 14-foot, five-ton sculpture was on display in the town for all to see. After the premiere of A Smithtown Celebration, my score, as well as a video recording of the performance, were placed inside of a time capsule, which would be unearthed at the 400th anniversary of Smithtown in the year 2065. At that point, once they were unearthed, those items would become part of the Smithtown Historical Society's collection. So the Smithtown Community Band, under the direction of Mr. Bill Link, had approached me in writing a piece for this huge celebration and anniversary of the town of Smithtown. And I did my research about the story of Richard Smith. I had also driven around the area too to also get an idea of what this town was all about. And what I found was that it has this very busy thoroughfare, Main Street section, but it also has these beautiful preserves and parks and areas of just beautiful nature, including beaches. So I wanted to somehow find a way to capture those two essences by putting it in an ABA format. Uh, another thing I wanted to do was to make sure that I was paying homage to the legend of the bull. And um, that's thrown in there a couple of times. And then the, the last thing that I thought was extremely important is that uh, Bill Link, who's the commissioning director, he is a huge fan of the compositional styles of both John Williams and Leonard Bernstein. And I thought this would be a great way to infuse their styles uh, with my own voice to create Bill's voice in this piece. So there are moments where you're going to hear layered ostinati, as well as asymmetrical meters that take place both in the style of John Williams and Leonard Bernstein to just add that flair that um, would, would give Bill that, that voice within the piece as well. Some of the compositional techniques that I used in this piece, uh, again, speaking to John Williams and Leonard Bernstein, the layered ostinati that John Williams is, is well known for, as well as um, asymmetrical meters that Leonard Bernstein made very, very famous, especially in his West Side Story score, as well as many others. In addition, um, this ABA style, the B section is all very pastoral-like. Uh, 
Uh, and I really tried to capture those nature preserves, beaches and parks, uh, the tranquility of that compared to the hustle and bustle of the main thoroughfare of the town. So what I decided to do was to write a, a solo for English horn, which is cross cued in alto saxophone. Uh, and it has a duet with the flute. Uh, so it's this very beautiful, tranquil uh, break, if you will, um, palate cleanser before we go back to the recapitulation later on um, where we hear the bull. Speaking of the bull, um, I wanted to try to emulate the bull, but instead of um, the bull itself, I captured the essence of the bell that was around the bull's neck, uh, which you can see in that statue that was created. Um, so what I did was I wrote an anvil part, which could be doubled on brake drum, but just to have that very metallic clanking sound uh, that is strategically placed throughout the A section, both at the beginning and also in the recapitulation. So these are just little nuances that I used to show symbolism and to pay tribute to uh, the beautiful town of Smithtown, New York. The Smithtown Celebration was originally self-published in 2015, but in 2022 it was accepted by Tux People's Music for publication in their 2023 concert band catalog. It's now available worldwide, either through Tux People's Music directly or your favorite sheet music retailer or distributor. You can also view a video of the score here on my website. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey as we explored a Smithtown celebration in greater depth together. I hope that you found this video interesting and informative. If you have any questions about this piece or of any of my other compositions, please feel free to reach out to me through my website. Also, if there's any way that I could be of service to you or your ensembles for upcoming clinics, guest conducting opportunities or commissions, please do not hesitate to contact me. Thanks again and we'll see you soon.